Hey folks, making a random, well not random, but kind of a first appearance here on the channel. Uh, doing stuff in face, person sort of thing like that. Uh, I have with me here Q. You boo boo. It's the Q. Hey bud. Um, I've been doing a video here because you guys know, as I mentioned a lot of times on the channel, you know, Animal Caretaker, and if you follow me on social media, you see me working at the Sanctuary, the Exotic Animal Hospital, and such like that too. Um, I am here today with Q because I wanted to show you guys one of them. We're in our room here today, slash studio and whatnot, I don't want to show too much of it because it's kind of a mess, but well, not really, but you know what, we have a little bit of our rescue animals in here, so I'm going to actually show you guys one. We got Q right here, our ball python, rescued uh, from my job at the Animal Hospital, and... Just went through a lot of stabbing for getting blood draws and stuff to do with lab works and the labs kept messing everything up but it was belonging to a pet store i won't name the pet store here on the channel but you guys can probably figure it out but yeah it's very interesting here to say the least but i wanted to make a video here and show off q i'm actually going to turn the camera like this for you guys there we go make life a little bit easier for you q what are you doing He's a rescue ball python, and there was at first one of them to be euthanized, and we, I said no. It's a vet assistant there, you know. Also throw the jazz. Hi. You go, bud. Just chill. You're usually really chill. So, you know, Q they were saying was needed to be euthanized, but I said no, and we stopped them from doing it. We said no, we're not gonna do that. We're because of the old lab results, we're gonna take new lab results, and the labs kept messing up, and he went through a lot of trouble in his life. So a cutie guy right here, he went through a lot, a lot of trouble. And you know what? He's still an absolute sweetheart. He still loves people. He still doesn't mind at all. Thank you. About anything like that. You know, he's an adorable little ball python, I said at least here. And he's just a little baby. That's all he is here, a little baby. Um, and he's really energetic, really outgoing and such like that. But he's one of the guys I have here at the house with me. And yeah, part of the family. Q, who recently was put as a female, but we don't know for sure yet. We're thinking about it, but yeah, Q went through so much hardship. Now, saved, rescued from the pet store, is now living a good life. Uh, so I'll show you guys actually really fast here. You can check things out in there. This is Pedro eating there at the moment. This is Q's habitat. But, uh, Pedro's bed is there with them, but this is Q's little habitat here. We have a heat lamp on a little stand there, as well as UV bulb and a nighttime lamp that I put on there for him, so he gets his good amount of radiation. He has the wood, a cypress on there, as well as uh, ripped soil for the ground with some moss mixed in there. He loves his T-Rex perch, to say the least here, but as so we have a thermometer, a little backdrop in there to make it nice for him and such. But yeah, hopefully you guys can see all that. That, that is Q's home. A little home away from home. So we have, you know, keeps everything in there. He hides in his little hut. He has his uh, thing right there, his T-Rex skull. But yeah, that is Q. Let's see if we can get him in the shot for you guys. It's Q, the ball python. He's like, Father, what is this? What is this YouTube? Yeah, he's a sweetie. So yeah, guys, and you know what? Absolute energetic ball python. Still loves life. Doesn't mind. We had to give him Ceftad's injections before an antibiotic to be on the safe side with him. But he's all better now. All healthy. Pooping and all. Adorable little guy. This all's going off. Q, it's okay. Still loving life. Red. Happy to be a part of it. So when I'm doing videos and everything like that, guys, you can be rest assured Q is going to be in here with us. And along for the journey. There's the closet. Yeah, you guys all rock. Thanks, everybody, for joining this video. I'm learning about Q, our little rescue ball python. Make sure you guys, though, if you do get a ball python or any snake, make sure you guys do the research on there. Know about UVB, heat lamps, basking, soil, all that sort of jazz like that. Make sure you do your research and before and before you uh, really get one, say at least whether it's a ball python or whatever it may be, it's always best to do the research. You guys all rock. And, yeah, because, trust me, I don't want to... Much as I like helping animals out of the hospital, I want to have you guys come in. Before you make sure they're just happy and healthy. He's also the most energetic ball python I've ever seen. Alright, like I said, guys, you're all rock. Make sure you leave a like on the video. It helps us out greatly. Subscribe for more stuff here on the channel because, you know what? If you like animals, if you like dinosaur stuff, if you like video games in general too and toys, you know what it's all about. But we'll do some more videos too because I actually do have Dulce, our little Anole. Hopefully you guys can see her in there. 
Bill says, also one of our rescue animals who was going to be euthanized, but we said no because we can don't have to give him pellets because of the whole pet store thing. Took him from the pet store, I gave crickets, and somehow, you know what, she's doing really good. Who knew? It's almost like we know what we're talking about at the hospital. Um, but I have not taken anybody home from the sanctuary yet for the rescue, so there is that. Yeah, mostly because it's like my home away from home. You guys all rock. Thanks, everybody. Leave a like on the video, and remember, folks, it's like adjust the video professional as always. Stay creative, everyone.